Today we're talking about Leather Bomb. Hey guys, what's up? I've wanted to talk Leather Bomb on this channel for a little while now, and this was the perfect opportunity. I picked up this Leather Bomb on Amazon last week when Vera Forma Leather dropped it. Now, full disclosure, Belid and I are buddies. He's the one that really helped me get into leather work and he still helps me out like crazy when I need it. With that said, I actually tried his leather bomb at his place when it was just a prototype and I really liked it. So I did go on and buy this for full price on Amazon. Now we are buddies, but this is going to be an honest review of this product. I'm never going to promote something to you guys that I don't believe in myself. If this was a product that I did not like, I wouldn't trash talk it, just this video would not exist. I did give Valid a heads up on what I was doing when I bought it and he was super excited and he wanted to extend to you guys a coupon code. So if you wanna buy your own tin of this, it's already pretty cheap, uh, but just go on Amazon, use coupon code black flag, you get 30% off uh, an already pretty affordable bomb. It is cheaper than Smith's leather bomb normally, I think, and then you get an extra 30% off, which is pretty nice. I'll leave the link down in the description, but let's get into talking about leather bomb and uh, reviewing this thing. So I've tried a lot of different bombs, as you can see from my various different concoctions here. Normally I just mix different amounts of waxes and ingredients together and pour them in this ice cube tray thing and call that good. I have tried a couple other leather bombs, some no-name one, and I have tried a small little tin of Smiths and they're all pretty good. Any of these things are gonna give you a nicer product in the end. Applying a good leather bomb is something I feel pretty strongly about. It just gives your product a more premium feel and it somehow gives it more of a depth of color. It helps really with that patina, if that's something that you're going for. These are my Red Wing boots that we're going to be applying bomb to in a bit, but I keep up pretty good about moisturizing these things, not as much lately, but you can see a really nice patina that develops on those just from keeping up with that. And I think it's due to the leather, but uh, it's, it's helped quite a bit by using Leather Bomb regularly. Think about when you go buy a brand new gadget and you're super pumped about it, you bring it home, plug it in, and it tells you you need to wait 10 minutes for it to update. This is kind of what you're doing when you don't put Leather Bomb on your product. You're putting one more step in between your customer receiving and enjoying the product. It's, uh, it's just a nice, way to finish it. And honestly, it just takes two minutes, so just do it. So I have a bunch of things here that I could put the bomb on, but I feel like the boots are gonna be the best one. They uh, desperately need it, and it's kind of a big surface area, and it'll really show what the bomb does, as well as I can do one and then we can compare them. All right, so you're only gonna need a few things here. You'll want the bomb, obviously. You're gonna want a rag, I'm gonna apply it with my finger, but you can apply it with a rag too if you don't wanna get it on your fingers. And a horsehair brush just to kind of buff it after you're done. So I'm going to be putting some balm on my boots. These are Red Wing Iron Ranger 8085s. They're the copper rough and tough from SB Foot Leather. They're long overdue for some moisture. I have already gone and brushed off some of the dust and just run a damp rag just to kind of remove some of the debris so that you're relatively clean. And what we're gonna do is remove the laces, coat it in some balm and see how it turns out. All right, so here we go. I have tried this before at Valide's house and I kind of dipped my finger in this one and just tried it on some scraps here. But it is really nice stuff and you do not need a ton on your finger. Uh, a little really does go a long way. So we'll start on the uh, toe cap here and I'll show you. And I just kind of try to work it into all the little nooks and crannies here. And you can already see that copper color is just really looking good. I can't wait to buff it out. And I'm really just barely dipping my finger in this. I'm not even really pressing into the 
bomb at all. I'm just kind of rubbing my finger along the top and it just melts really nicely. Okay, so now what you do is you just kind of let that seep into the leather a little bit and kind of solidify again. It's, it is still warm from touching your skin, but I want to show you the difference between the boot that's just been done and the old boot. Kind of a night and day difference there. Look at the color on this one. So I'll give it a quick buff here and then we'll compare them again. So you just want to take the horsehair brush and just buff off any excess. And this is on my boots, but it's the same procedure for anything leather. And look at the difference between those boots. You can just tell looking at this one that they're su it was super dry. And then this is just a happy boot drinking up that uh, bomb. I might even do a second coat later on. So something that I probably should have mentioned earlier, if you haven't used bomb before, when you do use it, it will darken your leather quite a bit at first. So you can see, here's a piece of leather, bomb, no bomb, and it's pretty drastic at first. After it has a chance to soak in and get some use, it will lighten back up quite a bit and, and look nice. But just be aware when you put it on, it is gonna look a lot darker. If you're really concerned about it, maybe just take a scrap piece of leather like this and just try it on that a day or two before you use it on your piece and just make sure that it's okay. Honestly, I've never used a bomb that damaged leather in any way. It has always made it better. So first impressions of this bomb, I really like it. It's kind of like Smith's leather bomb, but it's just a lot less waxy. When I talked to Valid about it, he said that he feels that this is actually a true leather bomb, whereas a lot of the other ones should be maybe called a leather wax or something like that. And I feel that that's pretty accurate. This is mostly moisturizing and, and less waxy than the other stuff. And when you compare this to the other bombs, even the ones that I've made, because it's less waxy, it feels like it soaks into the leather a little bit better than those ones do. It almost feels like coconut oil when you touch it. It's solid, but it melts in your hand. He did tell me it's all natural ingredients in here, so I wager to guess that coconut oil is probably one of them. Oddly enough though, I left this in my car on a sunny day and when I came back it hadn't melted. So I have no idea how that works. But yeah, I really like this stuff so far. I'm gonna be using it on my products for quite a while. This is a four ounce tin and uh, honestly, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way when you're putting it on. You don't need to just freaking cake it on or anything like that. If you do wanna pick up a tin, again, the link's down in the description. Go there, it's already pretty affordable and then slap on that coupon code black flag. You get 30% off and give it a shot. And if you guys don't mind helping me out going on and checking out one of my other videos or a playlist or something, uh, would be awesome. I make new videos every week. And any questions, comments for me, leave them down below, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye.